Yo, 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 this is Christian Madrid here on Madrid Videos with y'all. And next up, I got another video for y'all. And this is of the top 10 greatest Super Bowl halftime shows of all time. Yes, instead of focusing on the actual Super Bowl game, in this video, we're going to be focusing on my personal favorite halftime shows. There's been a lot of good ones. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe to Madrid Videos. Tell your fan and friends, what is the greatest halftime show ever. What is your favorite? Comment below and stay tuned to find out what my favorite is. All right, here we go. Let's start off with number 10. And at number 10, I got Rihanna at Super Bowl 57, the Chiefs versus Eagles last year's Super Bowl 2023. Rihanna's halftime show, it was pretty good. You know, I really liked it. I like a lot of her music, and I think she sang a lot of her hits at this halftime show. And, you know, the way she was dancing and, you know, her voice, you know, it all sounded great. And how she didn't really have any guest appearances. She did this on her own, which is a great accomplishment for her. And it, it was really good. And especially at the end of the, the halftime show when she revealed that she was pregnant, you know, that was a that was a good moment. A classic, you know, legendary Super Bowl halftime show moment and how she could dance and move around and being pregnant at the same time, that, that's pretty amazing. So yeah, that is number 10 for me. At number nine, I got the Who Super Bowl halftime show from Super Bowl 44. It was the Saints versus the Colts in 2010. And the Who, they just, they killed their halftime show. They sung a lot of their hits, Baba O'Reilly, Won't Get Fooled Again, Pinball Wizard. You know, they had a, they had a good set, you know. You know, the Super Bowl halftime show isn't really known for having rock bands, but the, the few times they have had rock bands in their halftime shows, they killed it. And Who has stood out as one of the better ones because they sung a lot of their hits and, you know, the choreograph and how, you know, the halftime show came about. It was really good and very well done. And the Who is my number nine favorite. At number eight, I have one of the most famous Super Bowl halftime shows, and it is the Janet Jackson, P. Diddy, Kid Rock, Nelly, and Justin Timberlake. And yes, Super Bowl 38, the Patriots vs. Panthers in 2004. And yes, this Super Bowl halftime show is really only remembered for the end of it, in which Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson were seen in Rock Your Body. And then he grabbed her nipple and then ripped, you know, he ripped her shirt off, which exposed her nipple to the whole, um, the whole world, basically. Not only the people who were watching Super Bowl, but the people who watched on TV, we saw Janet Jackson's nipple. And it looked kind of good. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, that that sucks that that had to happen. That wardrobe malfunction. It happens, you know. Unfortunately, that happened on the, the biggest stage in the world. But other than that, it was a pretty good halftime show, you know. You know, it was cool that they got all these performers to perform. They all did pretty good, you know. And that, that song was pretty good. Just unfortunately, it's only remembered for that infamous Super Bowl halftime moment. But yeah, that is my number eight pick. At number seven, I have this past Super Bowl halftime show, Usher, Alicia Keys, Her, Will I Am, Lil Jon, and Ludacris. This was the most recent Super Bowl 58, Cheats vs. 49ers 2024. You know, this made me want to do this video because this halftime show was really good. You know, Usher, he's saying all his hits in, in under 13 minutes, which is pretty good. I, I like Usher and I like a lot of his music and it was just cool that it was a good you know, late 90s, early 2000s, you know, mid 2000s throwback to Usher. And it was just really cool. And especially at the end when him, Lil John, and Ludacris, they all saying, yeah, just a terrific performance. That, that's definitely going to go down as one of the, the better Super Bowl halftime shows. You know, Usher, he killed it. You know, I had I, I had a little bit of doubts, but he, he surprised me. I didn't think he was going to be this good as the halftime show, but he definitely was. And he is my number seven pick. At number six, I have probably the most patriotic Super Bowl halftime show, which was U2, Super Bowl 36, Patriots vs. Rams 2002. Now, this was the Super Bowl halftime show right after 9-11. So we, we as a country, we really needed one that was going to bring everyone together, a patriotic one. And U2 did that. They did not disappoint. They said, where the streets have no name, beautiful day. You know, it was just a good set, you know, a good, peaceful set that brought everyone together. This is what America really needed at this time. And you two brought it all together. And, you know, very patriotic, you know. And that is my number six pick. At number five, I have Michael Jackson, Super Bowl 27, Cowboys vs. Bills, 1993. Now, 
this one was it, it was amazing like michael jackson the way he moves he brought that energy full energy to the super bowl which is amazing one of his best performances ever and he's the reason why we have the super bowl halftime show part of that reason because this performance was so good and so well done you know it really showed people you know it set the bar really high to what you could actually do with the super bowl halftime show because before this you know they want they would only have like marching bands during the super bowl halftime show they weren't really having these large mainstream performers perform at the super bowl halftime show but michael jackson he changed that and that's why we got the princes we got the ushers we got the Bruno Marses to perform at the Super Bowl halftime shows, duly because of Michael Jackson. So we have we have to thank him for giving us these Super Bowl halftime shows. Basically, he set he set the stage, he set the bar really high, and he's my number five pick. At number four, I have Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They did a song, but still, I'll, I'll, I'll include them in. This was Super Bowl Forty Eight, the Seahawks versus Broncos, Twenty Fourteen. You know. The uh, the Broncos really got their backs blown in this game, but the halftime show, it was amazing. Bruno Mars, you know, he's he, he's a great performer. He's very talented. He's got a beautiful voice. You know, he's got some great songs, and he killed it at the Super Bowl halftime show. Not only that, but the production and all the costumes and sets with this halftime show, it was just amazing. It was mind-blowing. You know, the Chili, Red Hot Chili Peppers, they did their song, you know, give it away, give it away now, you know. That, that was dope as well, you know, to bring them... You know, it'd be cool if they could do a full halftime show themselves. But this one was amazing. Bruno Mars, like I said, you know, he sung all his hits in this one. He really he really brought the best of, of his ability. And this is probably one of his best performances ever. And that is why it is number four. At number three, I have Paul McCartney, Super Bowl 39, Patriots versus the Eagles, 2005. Yeah. I saw this, you know, on YouTube, this clip, and it was just amazing. Like, Paul McCartney, he literally, you know, everybody, you know, there, like, over 50, 60,000 people seen in Hey Jude is just one of the greatest Super Bowl halftime moments ever. Literally gave me chills watching this almost 20 years later. It was just amazing, you know. Na, 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 Hey Jude. Just the whole crowd scene. It was, it's just an amazing moment. And he had a good set too, you know, the live and let die, you know, Paul McCartney, he really killed it with the Super Bowl halftime show. You know, he is a very talented singer, obviously, he was a fucking Beatle, you know, but he was able to play at the Super Bowl and did excellently. You know, this was the year after Janet Jackson, you know, the, the nipple thing. So they had to play it kind of safe. And I'm glad they chose Paul McCartney, you know, for this, you know, he was an excellent choice. A safe choice too, you know, because he didn't flash any of his nipples. <laughs> but he just he sung excellently, and Hey Jude is one of the best Super Bowl halftime show performances. His performance of that ever, it was just amazing. Gave me chills, goosebumps, and that's why it is number three. At number two, it it was really tough picking two and one. It could be either one, but at the end of the day, when I really thought of it, I gotta say at number two, Prince. His Super Bowl 41 halftime show, Colts versus the Bears. Prince, he, he just did an amazing job, you know. This Super Bowl halftime show, another one that gave me chills and goosebumps, you know, watching this, you know, it, it was amazing, you know. I can't believe they actually got Prince to do the Super Bowl halftime show, and he killed it, you know. He's done all his hits, you know, Purple Rain, When Doves Cry. He even did some covers. He did a Foo Fighters cover. You know, best of you, totally unexpected. Nobody saw that coming. I didn't see that coming. Out of all bands, why would he cover a Foo Fighters song? I mean, they're a great band, don't get me wrong. But like, that's surprising to cover a Foo Fighters song. And he killed it, you know. Just an amazing performance all together. You know, Prince inspired a lot of the Super Bowl halftime performers that are doing it nowadays, like Justin Timberlake, Usher, Lady Gaga. So all these new performers have something to owe to Prince. and. He killed it, you know. It was just really cool, especially his performance at uh, Purple Rain at the end. Another one of the great Super Bowl halftime show moments, you know. Chills, goosebumps all over. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing performance. If you haven't seen the Super Bowl halftime show, what the fuck are you doing? You gotta go watch this, man. That is why it is my number two pick. Before I get to my number one pick, I do have a few honorable mentions that I want to mention. The Rolling Stone Super Bowl halftime show, the Bruce Springsteen Super Bowl halftime show, the Katy Perry and Missy Elliott Super Bowl halftime show, you know, that one was the most viewed, you know, and it had terrific production value of it. And the Black Eyed Peas Super Bowl halftime show, it's got a soft spot for me because I was actually the first Super Bowl halftime show I ever saw. The Black Eyed Peas, the Usher, 
um slash even came to do a the switch out of my guitar so it was pretty cool um beyonce aerosmith and nsync uh justin timberlake by himself and lady gaga those are some honorable mentions they were all pretty good but they just missed a cut but it is it, it was hard picking this list because this has been a lot of super bowl halftime shows that are great and now let's get to my number one pick all right my number one pick for the greatest super bowl halftime show ever if you guys know me and know my taste in music this should really come as no surprise but my favorite super bowl halftime show ever was this was two years ago at super bowl 56 Bengals versus rams 2022 dr dre snoop dogg eminem kenner lamar mary j bly and 50 cent this was a childhood dream come true i always wanted to see Eminem do a Super Bowl halftime show. And while this wasn't solely Eminem, it was Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. Still, even better, a better dream come true. I never thought I would see this Super Bowl halftime show, but I can just see my teenage self being so fucking happy when I saw this. It, it was amazing. You know, chills, goosebumps, you know, smiles, everything. You know, just seeing this, you know, it was just so cool, you know seeing Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg perform that episode and still Dre at the end, you know, seeing Eminem get to perform Lose Yourself. It was just amazing. And 50 Cent, you know, performing in the club and Kenneth Lamar performing all right. It was just, it was an amazing Super Bowl halftime show. My favorite, I like, who would have thought that they could get all of these guys, you know, all these great rappers and, you know, at, at the Super Bowl halftime show together. Like you would have, you would have never thought that would happen. It was just an amazing moment, and I, I hope they do more of these kind of Super Bowl halftime shows because this one was the best in my opinion. It was, it was amazing. You know, I never thought I would see the Super Bowl halftime show and the production value, the sets. It was all so cool. A, a great tribute to West Coast hip hop. You know, and you know, I, I can't say anything else that hasn't been said about the Super Bowl halftime show. This definitely is one of the best. You know definitely top five objectively but my personal favorite and you know the greatest one i have seen you know it was great seeing this live and i've seen it many times since it's just an amazing super bowl halftime show if you haven't seen that then i, I recommend checking it out it's, it's it was a terrific halftime show one probably one of the best 12 13 minutes of music in super bowl history you'll ever see so anyways, th those are my picks. This is my opinion. Let me know your favorite Super Bowl halftime show. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my your videos. Tell your family and friends. I'm out. Let's get it, yo. It was at this moment I knew I had a fire-ass list. Thank you so much for watching the video. Click that subscribe button, yo.